Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I say, this is Intervlog. And I am here once more. I am here because there is one important information that I brought to you today. And this information is unbelievable. I say it is unbelievable because the waitings are turning in Africa is going to surprise you. If you do not know, war has commenced in Sahel. But the type of war that we are in, or the type of war we are seeing in Sahel today, is called Cold War. But that Cold War will metamorphose into real war in a very near future. Therefore, listen very carefully and see how war is going on between Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, against ECOWAS. But the major topic today is Russia and Libya. Therefore, for you to understand what is happening in Burkina Faso today, you have to know much about Libya and Russia, the important rule they have started playing two days after ECOWAS established military forces to protect constitutional order by forcing Burkina Faso, Niger and Mali to return to ECOWAS. Russia saw this establishment of military forces by ECOWAS as declaration of war, and immediately Russia had this just two days. He began working underground. Now for you to understand what is happening now in Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger, let's go and talk about the role Libya has started playing since Sunday to today. A man known as Khalifa Bezkasim Hafta is a Libyan. We are going to start talking about Libya, because if we jump into the matter, you may not understand what is going on. So let's go to what is happening, B between Libya and Burkina Faso. Because there is a military leader from Libya in Burkina Faso right now. As I'm talking to you, today is the 11th July 2024. Libyan military leader is in Burkina Faso with Ibrahim Traore, and his coming is very, very important. Therefore, let's go and talk about that military leader in Burkina Faso, because it will help to make you understand about what is to happen in ECOWAS. Now, there is a man known as Khalifa Bekasim Hafta. Hafta was born in the Libya city of Ida Bia. He served in the Libyan army under Muammar Gaddafi and took part in the coup that brought Gaddafi to power in 1969. Since 1969, Khalifa has been in power as a military officer in Libya, though today he is still a military officer. But he is being backed by Putin. He is receiving weapon from Putin. All his strength is coming from Putin. And that is why he is very, very strong in Libya. Putin had known Khalifa long before Ibrahim Traore. Therefore, when ECOWAS established military forces to force Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso back to ECOWAS, the first person that Russia contacted was Khalifa. But before we talk about how Russia contacted Khalifa, let's go to what happened on 28th of September 2023. On 28th of September 2023, East Libya Commander Haftar in Moscow for talks with Putin. Kremlin spokesperson confirms meeting, saying the two men discussed the situation in Libya and wider region. Renegade General Khalifa Haftar, whose forces dominate eastern Libya, has held talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow, his forces, and the Kremlin said. Haftar, who sponsors a rival administration to Libya's UN-backed government in Tripoli, has long cultivated close relations with Moscow, and relies heavily on Russian mercenary group Wagner for military support. Haftar held talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin and Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. His Libyan Arab Armed Forces said on its official Facebook page without giving further details. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov confirmed Haftar's meeting with Putin. They discussed the situation in Libya and the region as a whole he said in comments reported by Russia's state news agency, TASS. Also on 2nd June 2024, Russian Deputy Defense Minister Yunus Bek Yevkorov pledged to enhance the capabilities of the Libyan Eastern Forces led by Khalifa Haftar, a statement said Saturday. The pledge was made during a meeting between the Russian official and Haftar, who is the General Commander of the Libyan Eastern Forces in Benghazi in eastern Libya, according to a statement released by the Libyan Eastern Forces on Facebook. Yevkarov, accompanied by a high-level delegation, 
arrived at the Benina International Airport in Benghazi on Friday, marking his fifth visit to the city since August 2023. The statement said Yevkarov and his delegation met Haftar in his office in Benghazi. Haftar welcomed the Russian delegation, emphasizing the friendly relationship between the two sides and the importance of developing it in military and economic fields. Yevkurov highlighted Russia's contribution to enhancing the capabilities of the Libyan Eastern Forces in areas of training, efficiency improvement, and reinforcing joint cooperation to combat extremism, according to the statement. By seeing all these things, you would know that Russia has always been working with Khalifa Haftar. But the amazing thing that happened was that on Thursday, 11th July, 2024, which is today, Haftar sent his son, named as Saddam, to Burkina Faso to meet interim president Ibrahim Traore. The son of Khalifa Haftar, Saddam, who holds the position of chief of staff of the ground forces, arrived in Ouagadougou on an official visit to Burkina Faso, according to the military media office of Haftar's forces Facebook page. Upon his arrival in Ouagadougou, Saddam met with interim president Ibrahim Traore, at the Burkinabe presidential headquarters in the capital, Ouagadougou. This is Saddam's first official visit to Burkina Faso since he was appointed chief of staff of his father's ground forces, according to a decision issued by Khalifa Haftar in mid-May. This is happening just two days after ECOWAS established military forces to protect constitutional order by forcing Burkina Faso, Niger, and Mali to return to ECOWAS. Now, after all these things has happened, we all have known the reason why the son of Khalifa is in Burkina Faso. The reason is war. Russia has begun to bring his allies together. These allies are the people who are going to help Russia to fight ECOWAS in case of military intervention in Burkina Faso, Mali, or Niger. Then, two days after ECOWAS threatened to go to war with the Sahel Alliance, the chief of staff of the ground forces in Libya traveled to Burkina Faso. What do you think that is happening? This is war preparation. There is nothing more than war preparation and it is going to be brutal. Why did I say so? Why I said so is this. I know how Russia fights and Russia is backing Sahel Alliance. And you would ask me, how do Russia fight when Russia fight? Russia does not fight defensive war. Putin does not know anything about defensive. What he knows about is offensive. Therefore, if AU and ECOWAS are thinking that Russia will stay in either Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, be waiting for them until a U come to attack them and Russia will turn the fire. The AU and ECOWAS are joking. What is going to happen? Check about the wars that Russia had fought in the past. Russia always go offensive mean that once AU throw one bomb to Sahel Alliance, all the ECOWAS countries will be in danger. This is the system Russia is using. Russia does not care about where he is bombing. Since the area is on the enemy territory, that place become a target. Look at what is happening in Kiev. This work would even reach to Nigeria, reach to Lagos, Abuja, Accra, Abidjan. If all these presidents are thinking that they will send military forces to fight in Sahel and they will be sleeping, let they go and watch how Russia fight. When Russia fight, Russia fight into the state capitals, they don't care. Russia doesn't care about human rights. Russia fight to win a war. If you think Russia is going to fight like America, go and think again. This war is going to be disaster if it happens. Therefore, let's pray that the war never happened because if it happened, there will be a big problem. The war may expand from places to places and cause disaster. The Africa could be divided into two or into three. Some will be following Russia and others will be following United States or France. My advice is, let's pray that it never happened because the strategies have started. And the son of Khalifa Haftar of Libya in Burkina Faso is a strategy. This is a strategic way to get Libya territory for weapons supply. Thank you very much for watching. This is Intervlog. Put down on the comments section about what you think.
how this war is going to affect Africa if they finally go to fight Sahel. See you next time.